Hello everyone and welcome back to Yoshi's Woolly World on the Nintendo Wii U. I am One Well Sheep yet again and today now it's time to activate our brand new power badge which gives us the ability to see hidden items in the environment. So no longer will we jump be jumping randomly in order to collect items. No longer will we be going to very specific points in order to make sure bubbles pop up. Bubbles that we need to pop. Oh, enough bubbles. I, I still got bubbles on the mind because of the last part. Clouds and stuff that we need to pop will now continuously show up no matter what. If there's a bubble on this, well, within the screen, it will show up and we will be able to find it easy. And this is the most useful power up in the game. It basically allows us to collect things with no problem. Now, it doesn't show us where all the items are, as in, it just makes hidden things visible. So, for example, if there's a cloud hidden in the background, it makes it easy to find said cloud in order to collect whatever's inside. And certain items are pushable or walls that you can go through are also glowing slightly, which uh, helps out in the long run, you know, folks. And I love this music, it's so jolly. And we got a brand new power up as well, ladies and gentlemen. We have the, I don't know what these things are called. Some, well, we got these things anyway, which basically if we throw them, they generate clouds. We can then run on said clouds in order to progress up the level. This is basically, consider this the magnet beam of Yoshi's Bully World, ladies and gentlemen. And for those of you who don't know who haven't seen my uh, Mega Man 1 LP, the magnet beam is basically create your own platform the item, you know folks, we'll be able, we can now create our own platforms. However, we all, we do have a limited amount of throws as if, you know, it, it, the mechanic works exactly the same as the standard world mechanic of the game, so. Just uh, be a bit careful, you know, ladies and gentlemen, and just be a good aim, or at least try to be a good aim. Don't be like me, I'm, I'm awful at aiming. <laughs> As you can tell, look at that thing, it's so vertical. But uh, one thing I do kind of like about these platforms you can throw, if you throw them really steep, as long as it isn't directly upwards, you can still pretty much, for the most part, be able to climb on the, the clouds, you know, folks. It, the, it's e you can still climb on it, even if it's ridiculously steep, which I do appreciate. It does make this sequence a little bit easier, and we do need to use these things quickly in order to collect the items. Now, as you can tell, after a short amount of time has gone by, the clouds will dissipate, making sure that we will not be able to land on them and progress on them for too much longer. So you do need, ladies and gentlemen, to make sure that uh, you're quick about doing what you need to do with the clouds, you know? Also, we're going to want to take care, grab this Koopa shell as well in order to take down this Piranha Flower, which is just all chilling there, all mean and good, you know, doing his uh, Piranha Plant thing. You know, it, looking at the animation with the Piranha Plant, you can actually put that, you can put like a sound of clip on, so... I don't know, I can imagine this really weird sound clip being chucked onto them as you are progressing through the stage. You know, sort of like that one, yeah, like, exactly like that. <laughs> so, uh, there's that. But, oh my god, like I said, I cannot stress how good the soundtrack is, especially this song. It actually gives me some uh, vibes of Sonic Unleashed on the Xbox 360 and Nintendo Wii, if anyone's played that game, which hopefully you have. It's a fantastic game, I love Sonic Unleashed. I don't know, I get vibes of that for some reason, I think it's because it's... You know, actually, I don't even know what song I'm thinking of. It just really gives me vibes of Sonic Unleashed. I don't know if there's any particular song I'm thinking of. Which is strange, because most of the soundtrack in Sonic Unleashed is uh, rocky or level theme based. So, I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, it's time to jump down here. Very easy, easy hidden area to miss. So jump down here and collect our next woolly platform. Now, it is kind of obvious there's a hidden area down here just because, well, look at it. But... Again, it can be quite tricky if you don't, you know, it's easy to miss it. It's easy to just run past if you're not paying too much attention in this game, you know, ladies and gentlemen. If you're wondering why I'm ducking, by the way, I got stuck. <laughs> if you get stuck underneath an object, Yoshi will duck automatically, and there's nothing you can really do until you get freed out of just luck. So be a bit careful. But you do need to use the Piranha Plant's powers against them here, folks, as you can tell. 
what I just did was I grabbed hold of the cloud flower thingies. Cloud, I'm going to call them cloud wool just because it's easier to explain. So I'm going to grab hold of the cloud wool and then you need to sort of lure the, the green stuff that these piranha flowers are throwing into each other in order to damage them and kill them. It's kind of a neat little puzzle aspect that I can appreciate, you know, folks. But first things first, we do want to go up by here because this will lead us to another chomp rock and another wall piece. Now, just like dealing with the piranha flowers, throw a cloud thingy, cloud wall thingy, to get the chomp rock to roll down and um, collect this. So, you, I like this little I, I like the idea of using these cloud platforms as like puzzle elements. It's kind of a smart way to go going about these things and just the idea of creating your own platform has always intrigued me in these type of games, you know, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, but I digress. Anyway, it's time to show, there we go, show them piranha plants what for, blah blah. <laughs> I am number one, I am the Yoshi son. You know, you could actually probably make a remix of I Am The Eggman for Sonic Adventure 2 with Yoshi, so... I am the Yoshi! I've got the master egg! I am the Yoshi! I am so happy! Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know why I don't, su I don't sing or make songs very often. <laughs> Although, I have to say, my singing voice is uh, pretty spectacular, if I do say, say so myself. Chocolate rain! Something, 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 chocolate rain. You know, ladies and gents. But anyway, that is everything in the stage term, but it's 100% complete. So there's that. It's fine and dandy. You know, I'm not going for everything 100%, but I do like it whenever I get the 100%, because it just makes me, it gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. You know, folks, it just, ugh. Oh, it makes me all tingle in excitement. Oh. But I digress. Anyway, now we've unlocked the next Yoshi to use, which is which one's this? Fluffin Puffin Yoshi. I kind of like. I kind of dig that name. It's uh, not so much memorable. It's just sort of alliteration for the win. I love my alliteration. But anyway, grabbing all this Yoshi. Now it's time to move on to the next stage, which is a stage where I'm not. Honestly, I'm not fond of this level. Like the previous level, I love through and through. But this next stage, I am not fond of because. It's a maze. Spoilers, it's a maze. There you go, the C. It even says so in the title of the stage. Which means we need to find the correct way through the level, and that's not the hard part. Finding the right way to go is the easy part. The hard part of this level is finding all of the goddamn collectibles in this goddamn level. Because all the collectibles are really out of the way. You need to look specifically for you need to look specifically at certain areas just to find collectibles, you know? Apart from this one, this one's easy. <laughs> this one doesn't count, but later on, you'll, you just have to need to look around, you need to know where to go to collect everything. This stage is a nightmare your first time playing through if you want to get 100%. Because I have this urge, whenever I play this type of game, I always, even if I'm playing through the game the first time through, I have to get 100% in each of these stages, it's just, it's a thing. Well, not 100%. In general, 100% collectibles, I should say, because I'm not going for 100%. I've stated this before. But, uh, yeah, I digress. Anyway, grabbing on up here. And uh, one of the big, major, 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 major gimmicks in this level is the collectibles that we need to collect. Well, like I said, there's loads of routes. There's loads of multiple paths we can go. Like, we can go to the top path, or we can go down here to collect a wall piece, you know, ladies and gentlemen. And we do need to go to every individual area in this particular cavern. I don't like the stage. I like the music, though. The, ma the music really... I don't know. It, it reminds me of, like, 1980s noir or something. I don't know. It's just so... It's like music you could hear in a good buddy cop movie, you know, back in the day. I mean, listen to it. I mean, honestly, can't you imagine... Can't you just picture the, the, two, the two guys from Lethal Weapon just doing their job to this theme song? I damn well can. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this stage is very frustrating if you don't know where to go or don't know what to do. So just be patient. Do your best, you know, ladies and gentlemen. And you, you'll eventually find everything, you know. It isn't... The things aren't hard to find more so as they are frustrating and tedious to find. Like right now, in order to collect one collectible, we need to use that purple thing and pound it into the ground. And then 
we'll be able to push a little wall out of the way, as you can tell. But you only need a ground pound here once in the ground to move the, this thing up one level. You know, it's there's a lot of fiddling about in order to collect collectibles in this one, folks. It's, I'm not fond. I'm not fond. And yeah, do not fret if you get a collectible that's meant to be later collected than the previous collectible, because that will happen all the damn time in a stage, folks, because it's just so damn non-linear, and it suffers from what I call Metroidvania Syndrome. Now, what is Metroidvania Syndrome, ladies and gentlemen? Well, basically, plat 2D level where you can get lost in. I call that Metroidvania Syndrome. I know that's... I know I've stated I'm not a fan of Metroidvania, so this won't really apply to a lot of people. And in fact, a lot of people will consider it a good thing if it has, if it's legitimately like a uh, Metroidvania, but it's not. It's it's just what I call getting lost in a 2D stage, you know, folks. And it drives me mad whenever I come across stages where it's possible to get lost in 2D levels. Just, I I don't like it. <laughs> 2D needs to be linear. God damn it. Well, it doesn't need to be linear, but uh, I prefer personally to be linear. I'm not good at 2D finding my way around things. I don't know. It's, a, it's something I've always had trouble with, even back in the day when 2D games were the main thing. But I digress. Anyway, time to jump on up here, use the enemy as a little boost platform, and... Delicious! Another wall! Yes! And uh, we're actually going to have to get quickly used to using enemies as platforms during the course of the stage, because there is a certain happy flower later down the line that we need to collect that will involve us bouncing from enemy to enemy in order to gain higher and higher up this giant shaft, this vertical shaft. And it is quite an annoying happy flower in order to pick up. I'll talk more about it when we get to it, but trust me, it'll, it'll, t it'll probably take you a good two or three attempts if you, uh, you know, well, not if anything, it'll, it'll just take you two or three attempts more than likely. Took me about four or five. <laughs> uh, but I digress. Anyway, move on in here, and it's time for us to get another happy flower. This is meant to be the first one you're supposed to pick up, but uh, due to the non linear nature of the stage, it doesn't really matter on which order you pick these things up. As long as you pick them up in a way that suits you best and makes it easier for you, that's all that matters, you know, ladies and gentlemen. And I did have this, I did actually have a path planned out in order to collect all the collectibles in one go and have the collectibles collected in order, but uh, I forgot that path almost immediately after recording, so yeah, I ended up just going, screw it, I'm gonna go after each of these things in whatever order I find them. Because <laughs> I remember the locations off by heart, I know where all these collectibles are, but I just forgot what pathway to get them all in a very easy fashion and make it easier to pick up in one go. <laughs> Delicious! Happy face number four. With number three, don't worry, we're like Valve. We can't count to three. Seriously, what is it with that company that watched Valve announce Left 4 Dead 3 or Half Life 3 or something and screw me over by when I ask this? But that company just doesn't like the number three. They they don't. If you look at Valve's games library, it's Half Life 1, Half Life 2, Half Life Episode 1, Half Life Episode 2. Portal, Portal 2, there is no 3 in any game that they have developed. They have never developed a game that has the number 3 in it. Well, maybe there's a number 3 in the game, but in the game title, you know, there's no number 3. It's quite weird. They, they just can't stand that number for some reason. I don't understand why. But anyway, like I said before, folks, you need to use the platforms here. Well, these are platforms. You need to use these enemies here as a sort of platforming challenge in order to boop your way all the way up to the very top of the shaft in order to collect the happy face. And there we go. That means we basically got one happy flower left to go. And I believe we've gotten... Yeah, we've gotten all the wall things in the stage. So we just need to progress to that key slot that we found previously, which is all the way to the left down here. Insert the key, go into the slot, and we'll be pretty much right at the end of the stage, ladies and gentlemen. What can I say? Honestly, this isn't that bad a stage when you know where to go, I will be honest, but if you're if you're lost or your first time playing to the stage, this, this stage isn't fun. This is so far the weakest stage of the game so far on your first run through. And of course, you know, the first impressions are always probably the most important ones to have in a game, because... A lot of people judge the game purely off their first impressions, you know, if they play through a game the first time and they don't like X, Y, Z thing. Even if they change their minds in repeated playthrough, it'll sour their overall expectations, so... I don't know. 
But anyway, with that, folks, that is that stage over and done with, and we have a bonus game! <laughs> Yay! We haven't had one of these in a long time. And this, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, is a fantastic bonus game for one reason. We're not cutting it out. It's a new one. It's a new bonus game we haven't done before. It, we basically need to jump on each of these seesaw platforms and collect the fruits. And like I said, each fruit is 50 beads that you can pick up, and with the exception of the watermelon, which is a uh, 300. Okay, I thought it was 800, so that, that seemed better than I thought. And this just works like all the previous, you know, all the previous bonus games that we've had up to this point. Just jump and collect as many things as physically possible, and uh, hey, it's just extra beads that you can use throughout the course of the game, you know, folks. Which is going to be handy, because it costs 5,000 beads in order to use the, the find every item collect power-up that I like to use, so... Yeah, you know. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this part. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, people. And when we return next time, we'll be taking on the last of World 3. Let's see what Yoshi we got first now. That's quite a neat looking Yoshi. What? Pound Post Yoshi. I kind of like the design of that one. I don't know. Nice use of color. What can I say? But yeah, I'll catch you all next time for that rainbow filled level over there. So thanks for watching people. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be stupid. I'll catch you all then. Bye!